<laughs> for a very quick stream. And you guys gotta let me know if uh, the quality is glitchy because it is glitchy on my screen. Which is very weird because the tower is like right there. Maybe I need to move my car towards the tower. So uh, I'm waiting for you guys to come in. Let me know if the picture is coming in and the audio is coming in okay. I'm officially 54 and not that I care, but only when it comes to health is it relevant. You know, because when I was in my early 40s, I was always so afraid to talk about my age because people would assume that I was younger and I, you know, everybody thinks that when you get older, it's so horrible. Thank you. <laughs> and David, David from uh, Rome, Italy. Um, I, keep, I kind of feel like moving my car in another direction. What's up, Gary? Thank you, Gary. You are too. Okay. So, what's up, Shala? 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 Anywho, I thought I would just talk about how my body has changed, like my own personal experience, my hormones, uh, my ability to gain muscle, my aging, all of that kind of stuff. Are you, are you sure you, I thought I sent you, I'll have to check. Please go into, cause I, there's another person, my link didn't work. There's another person who didn't get their plan. So go again to my website, hi Julius, and inbox me because I looked for you and I sent, I believed anyway, a plan to you. We'll fix it. Okay. As I'm dying of heat in my car. So, I, when I was uh, in my 40s, I was online. In my early 40s, I was online. And I was, like, really afraid to talk about my aging or my age or that I was in my 40s. Because once you hit your 40s, you start to feel like you're old. And I actually think I did because I wasn't doing keto then. I had really bad hypoglycemia in the afternoon. And... If I look at the pictures of me, I was really, really like skinny muscular, whereas now I'm more like beefy and um, you need cholesterol to produce sex hormones. So I'm trying to compare my sex drive then and my sex drive now. Now, it's different when you're a woman because women to have like a really good sex drive you've got to really feel romanced and guys don't know how to do that anymore but I digress let's get back to how my body has changed first so um I had really bad cramps before I changed my diet and I had really bad hypoglycemia if you guys look at old pictures of me I'm very gaunt I'm gaunt in the face. My skin was like super dehydrated. And um, yeah, I just looked older, I think. I think I looked older. If you go back to the old, um, the old images of me. Now, I can find pictures of me when I was 32 and I still look older. Facts. And then when I was like right before 40, I was just haggard right not good gut motility um i had like always had fluid under my eyes i still have a little bit always on this eye but i also used to have it on this eye so i've really gotten the fluid out of that eye and it just remains on this eye, especially if i sleep on this side um so you know people are like oh my god you've never aged we age we age we age in every way. You can see that I've aged in many ways. Like, you know, my skin is not as, it's pretty elastic, but it's not as elastic as it used to be. But the point is, is that when I start doing a ketogenic protocol, it's so amazing. Your skin, the, the quality of your skin, the reaction to it, once you start getting more fat into the dermis layers. And I just wasn't eating enough. I don't think I was eating any fat at that time. 
Yeah. I thought it was healthy because I was eating like vegetables and like sweet potatoes and rice and stuff like that. But I didn't have enough fat in my diet. So um, my, my, uh, because I was eating certain kind of carbs, my cramps were 10 times worse. Hi, Chastity. Um, thank you. Um, my cramps were 10 times worse. I used to crash really bad in the afternoon. My skin was getting dry, especially on the chest area. Um, so now the skin on my chest is a lot better. Um, so I see, you know, the typical aging. Now I don't have like the, the big cracks and the lines in the face and the forehead and all that kind of stuff. But I'm still aging, still aging on the neck. I'm still aging on my hands and stuff like that. But other than that, everything's pretty good. Like my reproductive hormones are on point. My skin elasticity is pretty dang good. Um, energy's off the hizzy. And so con doing a ketogen is very interesting. Um, thank you, <laughs> super fun guy. It's super interesting that once you get off those foods, what happened? So the gut motility, my gut, I used to be bloated all the times. So I had like really big bags under my eyes when I was younger. And you can see it in my old videos. I was super puffy under the eyes, super, super puffy. Okay. I'll answer that question about losing weight and eating high fat in a minute. I just want to talk about, um, my physical reaction to being on keto for 14 years solid without any cheats, without any refeeding. And so, um, when it comes to building muscle and staying lean, um, I'm doing pretty good. I think I'm not as lean as I used to be in my thirties, but I didn't eat enough food back then and I didn't eat any fat. So I was super, super thin and muscular. Now I'm still muscular and I have more body fat just because I will never allow my body fat to get down to the single digits again, which I did. It was awful. It's not good to be that woman and to be uh, being, being a woman and being that lean. Um, so now my, my body fat has gotten as low as 9% and now my body fat is probably about 15%, I think. I think it's that much now. Let's see. I think so. Something around there. And we have these men as well. They have these sort of misconceptions of like every guy who's quasi young or a guy who's older who's trying to stay fit they're always trying to get their body fat down into the single digits which I think is the dumbest thing ever it ages you so fast your body has to get protein from somewhere so it'll rob it from your sex hormones from your bone marrow from your skin and you can recover from it but it can be really hard if aging starts setting into your body so don't try to be that low. Don't do like the low to the chicken breast and the freaking white rice and a bunch of cardio. That's like the dumbest diet I've ever heard of in my life, almost. So, um, uh, <laughs> my sleep was so bad back in the day too. It was really bad. Um, so being on a ketogenic diet and getting my fats up really high, really helped my cramps to go down a lot. I used to have like a lot of messiness on my menstrual cycle. Now it's a lot less messy. And um, uh, my um, hypoglycemia is gone, like gone. All that fluid under my eyes is pretty much gone. There's still a little bit left, but not a lot. Like it used to be really bad. And I think probably, probably I was always really strong. So it's really hard when you go from your thirties to your fifties. Cause like, I'm still just as strong as I used to be. And is it because I would have been stronger in my thirties had I eaten a ketogenic diet? So I don't know that, you know, I just don't have enough comparison because I didn't start keto in my thirties. I started keto in my forties. So I can say from forties to fifties, I'm, I'm, I'm as strong as I've always been like super strong. 
and I have skateboard injuries. I used to be a pro skater. You guys, a lot of you guys know that I've had 10 surgeries on my left knee, so I can't squat or lunge or anything like that. That's another thing when it comes to, so I used to lean on, because my left knee is jacked, so I would lean on my right side all the time. My hips started bothering me because I used to always fall on my hips skateboarding as well. My hips hurt so bad. I started getting really scared because I was like, oh great, now I need a hip replacement. I need a knee replacement. Now I'll have a hip replacement because I've been leaning on one side for years and years and years, over 20 years. But keto made all of that pain go away. Now, when I lie on my right side, it can hurt just a little bit, but it used to hurt. I could not for years. I could not lie on this side. I'd have to lie on my left side because my right hurt, hip hurt so bad. So these are the things that have improved since I have done keto all these years. And I've never cheated. I've never gone off. I've never refed. I've never drank a sip of alcohol, a bite of rice, a cracker, a, a ice cream, like real ice cream, none of that. And I want to be the N equals one experiment to know what happens to a woman, what happens to, thank you, Nicola. Hi, Carol. Um, so I wanted to know what would happen because people always say that women, women can't do keto for very long. And I'm like, God, you guys are so stupid. Like, of course you can. It's just like people don't know how because there's so many bad versions of a ketogenic diet out there that people are always doing it wrong and then they have hypoglycemia and then they're having like their testosterone or yeah, women, their testosterone drops, their estrogen rises, their electrolytes get jacked up, they have heart palpitation, muscle cramps, can't sleep, thyroid, hair starts falling out, get constipated. Like these are the things that happen to people when they do this stuff the wrong way by eating all these junky products and skipping and eating high protein and intermittent fat. Yeah, I said it. I got some energy. So the best thing is the energy. So I used to have hypoglycemia before really bad. I'd have these consultations and I'd be like, or I'd personal train people and I'd be like, oh, I want to fall asleep. But now it's incredible when your body's running mostly on ketones. Now when you're in, and when you're in ketotic, you're going to use glucose and ketones, but you're going to use more ketones than you do glucose. You see, I'm saving up to have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you because I started keto again this week and my neck has been swollen. Oh, don't know if it's from all the butter. Uh, it could be a histamine response. I'd cut it out. You know, I don't know if it's here, if it's near your thyroid, if it's like your a goiter or if it's around the neck. I don't really know. So more fibroid cysts kicking my butt. Looks uh, four months pregnant, scared of surgery. Um, the cysts, you're having cysts, fibroid cysts in your ovaries, huh? Are you having fibroid tumors? Are you misspeaking? Fibroid tumors? Fibroid tumors are very easy to shrink if you know how to do it the right way. So I've had many fibroid tumors uh, where I've shrunk them. Now a lot of people no one ever noticed. I still have, I still have, because I've had MRIs, I still have. I've had fibroids since I was young, but I've shrunk them and then what's left over is pretty like, yes, tumors. So, you know, I also, you can't really see them. Nobody ever notices that I have fibroids, nobody. But they were, my stomach was like, at one point, so I've gotten it down to more like this, <laughs> like not so like you know they're still there though I still have them I still have the fibroids here because that's where the uterus is but they were much bigger much much bigger until I got off all that standard American diet so it's really really important to change your diet and to stop drinking coffee and to get to bed early and to balance your blood sugar and to balance your hormones and toxify, detoxify your liver. You know, your organs have to, you have to poop, you have to get out that estrogen. It's really important. That circulating estrogen that gets stuck in the liver. Uh, let's see, I remember watching you on X Games show boarding in, and, uh, well, the X Games, I was, um, they put me on the big jumbotron uh, at the X Games, um, so about, I was actually on the commercials at the actual X Games, but you didn't see me skate at the actual X Games because I've had 10 surgeries on my left knee. 
We'll stay on keto. Thank you. Yes. Happy birthday. Good looking. Thank you. I'm waiting to get it. Oh, yeah. I read that. Oh, no. The second one. Waiting to get a consult, but so unsure there is help for me. Carol, yes, there is. Yes. I'm all shaking my head now. Yes, there is. Every person that I've ever done a consultation, not ever, the very beginning, no. But the people now all walk away with really solid information. You learn a lot talking to tons and tons and tons of people. You can draw those red th threads and troubleshoot a lot better than a doctor. Facts. Oh, sirens is the first sirens. Can you guys hear the sirens? Age is just a number. Well, yes and no. Because people believe that they're older and then they lie and say, oh, I feel like I'm 20. My mom used to say that all the time. I was like, but you don't do nothing that a young person would do. You act old. So age is a number if you act like it. Like you can't just go, oh, age is not a number. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Because if you be acting old and I'll be telling my, like my young friends, hey, let's do this. And I want to do that. I'm like, God, you're, you're older than I am. You're so conservative in the context conservative in the context of never wanting to try anything new so you know to be strong and to be fast and be quick-witted and willing to try new things and excited for life that's what keeps you young and I don't know that many people who are like me they're always younger I don't meet people who are like oh let's go travel to another country well now you can't <sighs> at least I ain't doing it mm -mm, child I don't get stuck in another country I'm trying to stick those swords into my arm oh hey I'm not Ain't no roosters for me. Mm -mm. No, sir, honey. Not not number one or number two. Oh, hey, it's not. Not wasting my money on doctors. They're so bad. You know, they're good to go get some tests or if you need a surgical procedure. But like the rest of it, they're kind of a waste of time. That's what I'm trying to learn with my horse. What can I do on my own? Because every time you go to the vet, it's such a pain in the ass. You gotta deliver a huge horse and then on top of that you like they charge you for stuff you could do yourself like thunder had an abscess on his cheek and you know it's a couple hundred bucks for them to just take a needle and just stab in the face with it and it just went i need to be able to do this stuff myself so i really want to learn that that's like my next goal Honestly, love you and your channel. I've been learning so much. Yay, Nicola Star. Good. I love that. Um, can high doses of vitamin D, 10,000 IUs a day, lower sex hormones? I'd say yes. I don't know. Started having hot flashes, missed period this month. Age 46, no premenopause. You know, vitamin D3 in a lab is poisonous especially to your liver and kidneys. I, I wrote about this. I can't remember the details right now. And I can't look it up because I'm on my phone. But there are problems with taking supplemental vitamin D3. If you want vitamin D, don't risk your health. Just use Spear T, uh, a vitamin D3 lamp. And I ain't even sponsored by them. I have no affiliate program. I should do all that because I ain't making enough money, honey child. But that that's the one that people use and then you really get your vitamin D levels up by dietary vitamin D and by using a lamp a d3 lamp get off this 10,000 I use you can use krill oil oil but you got to use a good quality one because fish fish oil degrades so quickly right mighty uh, on onina 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 I ain't doing that and people don't understand if I could speak freely you guys I would be talking all day. I ain't gonna risk my channel at this juncture because my whole business is stupidly online. So I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna risk my business. But yeah, you know, like people are like, oh my God, I've had a couple of people like, how can you say that you're making jokes? I'm like, you are ill-informed. I can't help you. Good luck. Okay, it seems that protein intake controls my weight. I can eat as much fat as I want, but keep my protein under 100 grams. I never gain. But the minute I up my protein, I gain yes because Christopher if you have a sensitivity to protein in terms of if you're eating too much protein that your body can't use it gets converted back into glucose through, through gluconeogenesis and then the body it's spiking your blood sugar it can spike your insulin 
and you could be storing fat. So that's just a theory. I don't know, but it could be that reason. I know, I can't believe we can't speak either, but we can't. And like, every time I have a consultation, I'll tell the person in the consultation, like, did you do it? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, do you, did you research what it was? Uh, no. And then the ones who go, yeah, I researched. I'm like, go ahead, explain. Go ahead, I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, explain what it is. Come on now, explain everything. I've done as much research as you. Great, explain it to me. And they never can. Uh, thank you for spelling it differently, Bill. I was like, no, don't spell it the right way. <laughs> oh, thank you for spelling it like that. That was dope. Thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't want this stream to turn into that because they, they, they look, I hit 100,000 K long time ago and now I've toggled under and I can't pass 100 K no matter, matter how many stupid videos I do. So they're not stupid. I mean stupid that I have to do so many in that context. Don't forget to like up the stream because that's how people find me on this stuff. And I don't check to see who's liking. I don't have time. But it helps the, it helps the channel. Dang, you touch my window. It's like 100 degrees outside. It's disgusting. I can't stand it. Oh, I will not stay here very long. I can't. Um, so yeah, uh, you guys need to learn how to take care of your body, take care of your health and live a better life, preferably doing keto or low carb. But all of this, I'm so afraid y'all are, pfft, I can't with this. Okay. I do keto for, I, wait, hold on. I, I guess you meant I've done keto for, from five years. Wait, I do keto f from five years, but I'm still sleep 20 must be European or something per night what two to four hours at night it's because your blood sugar is unstable you're doing something wrong try it all no you didn't try it all I can't say what people say they try it all. you did not try it all honey but you know better you do better are you Italian right you're Italiano or something yeah uh, and I understand maybe hypoglycemia yes David D David 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 it is hypoglycemia yes see si, senor Signoro, I don't know how to speak Italian. I can speak Swedish. Yo, Golem, do you order thing? Do you order soccer? Fail. Did I fail? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I understand maybe you have glycemia, so we eat every three hours. Yes. Now my blood sugar is stable. Oh, yes, yes. Still sleep a few hours. Suggestions. Um, get off screens. Turn off your Wi-Fi. Um do some diaphragmatic breathing, eat every three hours. I mean, there's a lot you can do, David. David, is carnivore better low? Uh, no, keto is better. Carnivore is good for hyper, no. Carnivore is not good for, uh, it's not good for, it can, well, if it's a, a ketogenic version of it. Um, carnivore is good for histamine, but that's it. Like, that's it. It's not good for anything else. Sorry, people. Uh, si Italiano. That's so cool. I heard you can fly to Italy though, without, you know, getting that disgusting crap in your body. I heard you can fly there. Okay, is the is um it's the sedentary lifestyle and uh, loss of zest of life. What? Loss of zest for life that age people. Yes. Yes, and when they watch too much TV and get on the internet and just believe everything, like that's how your world gets <laughs> that small, and you have no chance. Honey, mm -mm. oh Luciano, Meletto, Moletto, Moletto, Mulatto, Mulatto, Luciano. I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm just using like Swedish and making it Italian. What are the languages you want to learn? Uh, Spanish first. Very useful language. I'd love to learn Italian too. I used to want to learn Chinese, but... And then I went there and I was like, eh. I'd still, maybe, you know, old China, Chinese culture is pretty bomb. New Chinese culture, not my favorite. Old Chinese culture, bomb. Uh... Maybe, maybe Luciano and David can talk to each other in Italian on this stream. 
Uh, let's see here. I'd like to learn. What else would I like? I'd like to. I know Spanish. Let's start with Spanish. Yeah. Yes, Mojave. If you're crashing after milk, it is definitely histamine, hundred percent. Unless it's the carbs in the milk, but it sounds like histamine. My phone is hot. The windows are hot. I think I better stop soon, guys. Um, but I wanted to just talk about how my body has changed and how I've mellowed out as I've gotten older, believe it or not. Um, maybe just a little, not a lot, a little, no, I've mellowed, I've matured. Um, my body is just, I'm so grateful to have gotten on this diet, uh, when I, and when 14 years ago when I was 40, because, um, I don't even know how I'd feel these days, how my body would be responding, if I'd have aches and pains, if I'd have more like gut issues, histamine issues, aging, hardcore issues. But because I, um, I, I woke up and my mom's cancer help, helped me wake up and see the light. Um, I used to have cavities every year. That is one thing I've always had prior to keto every year. That stopped my cavities in its tracks. But, um, yeah, so, yes, I'm so great. And my mom and I have the exact same genes where we have, like, don't have enough mouth cleaning enzymes. And so bacteria, even though I wasn't a big candy eater, bacteria, I would just have cavities every year. And it stopped. So. Happy birthday. Pietra says, thank you. Oh, let me see. Let me see her. Sono on Italia. Luciano sono on Italia. Something like that. David, si, in Italia. Or, or I guess you're, are you in, oh, are you in Italy? Or are you in Italy or the USA? I think he was writing. No, I'm in Italy. He says, see, I can understand. I can read and understand. Amen. Glad you and your mom, mum, you must be British, uh, are in good health or Australian, no, British. Uh, Fred Cipriano, who's probably American but has an Italian name, says, if I eat too much protein, my blood sugar takes forever to come down. See, Fred, this is what people don't understand. Too much protein, your body can only chew, digest. Go, I need to drink water, man. And it, it's, I feel like I'm in an oven. I freaking hate this weather. I'm gonna be in California next week to visit, not to live. I'm gonna be so grateful that it's dry. Um, keep that pretty smile. <laughs> Thank you. Um, watching from London, that's what I thought. Cause you said, mum, do vitamin D lamps really work? Yes, 1000%. You have to get a good one though, like Spirit or any other brand. They really, 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 really work really well. Especially for those who can't get their D levels up. How about never having to use deodorant when I was... You know how many people have said they haven't had to use deodorant once they flipped to keto? You ain't a stinky. Although I use a deodorant, I just go like this. I go like... And then that's all I do. And it's a natural deodorant. It's from Sweden. It's called Rosen, Rosenberry... Anyway, Italians are getting tired of pasta, I bet, right? You didn't finish your answer if you eat too much. Sorry, Fred. No, I think I was. No, I was just validating you. I was saying, yeah, when you eat too much protein, your body can only chew. You can only chew it, take it to the stomach, having your protease and pepsin and your stomach acid break it down then goes to your stomach acid into your small intestine and then to your bloodstream. You can only use a certain amount of protein to have that used to get into the muscle cells. Everything else gets converted back into glucose to be used as energy. And so if people have blood sugar issues, the dysregulation, which most people do, your blood sugar spikes. So that's the whole answer. Sorry. Maybe more people should do that since I digress so much. I'm not Swedish. My last name is though. I'm not Swedish. I was born in Los Angeles and to non-Swedish parents. And my last name is Person. It is. That's not a joke. And um, 
Sweden, it's like calling somebody like Smith, but they pronounce it Per Son, which is the son of Per. Peterson, the son of Peter. Anderson is the son of Anders. And in Iceland, and in Norway, they say, uh, what is it like? Ulrike's daughter. That would mean you're the daughter of Ulrike. So it's kind of weird. But yeah, so I, I went to Sweden. They're like, oh, you're Swedish. I'm like, I'm not Swedish. Yes, you're Swedish. Your name is Persson. I was like, no, I'm not. I'm Americana. Uh, so, but I lived in Sweden because I was traveling in Europe. My car is so mad right now. It is so hot. I, I, um, somebody's like, don't worry. Your engine is that type of engine. It, it will take the air conditioning will, will handle the heat. Uh, you have flawless Swedish accent. Nay. Ibland jag låter lite amerikaner, men jag försöker att prata svenska lite like, like, like li, lite liksom en svenska människa. Men om det finns en svenskarna här i streamet, de ska säga jag låter lite amerikansk. Which I just said. I don't sound like a strong American, but I'm not exactly Swedish because there's kind of like this whiny nasal thing they do, and I don't like it. <laughs> like, they'd be like, Shenna! And I, I'm like, I am doing that whiny thing. <laughs> so I go, Shenna, like that. So it's not super American, but not super Swedish. By the way, I was born in 67. What? Luciano, he's also 54. He's 54. Back in the day, I took Spanish thinking it would make me more romantic. It just, I mean, a lot of people speak in Spanish in a lot of countries. What vegetables can I eat on a keto farm high fat diet? You can have cruciferous vegetables. You just have to cook them. Pressure cooker is not a bad idea. Yes. You can still cook them. You can steam them. You can fry them. You can still have them. You just, because they are blocking iodine sometimes in some people not in all cases to get into the thyroid so but kale is the worst you can have cruciferous vegetables let's see back in all right back in the day it took, i read that okay guys it's so hot i gotta get back to my horse um i've gotta do a bunch of stuff to get ready for my trip and i gotta pee i'm not gonna go into that gas station any either Mm -mm. You guys want to see where I'm doing my live stream? Okay. This place is like nothing but trucks here. That's a joke. Spanish is a part of the romantic languages. It's, I mean, it's all by perception, right? It's all by perception. But yes, it is generally seen as a romantic language. Spanish and French. I think one of my favorite languages, I'm not gonna lie, is Danish. I can't, I, I don't know why. You're in Texas, yeah, I, I, I hate this heat, you guys, I can't do it. Everywhere else it's cooling off except for this freaking hellhole. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. You're welcome, David. Thank you, Gary, you didn't have to do that, but I appreciate you donating to the super chat. I do, I do, I hope you're doing well there in the West Coast states of craziness and control but you in the country, so you should be fine. I'm just saying. Papow! That's what I'm saying, you gotta be like, papow, you gotta be ready. But thank you. Um, I keep touching my windows, you guys. It is so hot, like unbelievably hot. The back of my phone doesn't even have sun on it and it's hot. Mighty Onina says, happy birthday. Happy, happy B-Day heart, you Stephanie. Thank you, love me, love me. People love me out there. I'm all by myself here in this state. Okay, Mammy is hot and humid as hell too. Oh yeah, I ain't never, people are like, come to Florida. I'm like, mm-mm, no, I'll be a snowbird. I'll live in another state in the mountains and then I can come to Florida in the winter, but I ain't living full time in a flat state, no mo. Okay, I need some mountains. Gary says, happy birthday again. Do you do something fun like a couple of bales of alfalfa? <laughs> right? Oh, with the 50. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll buy some alfalfa for thunder with the bales. Thank you. 
that'll buy two. <laughs> oh, the stupid alfalfa is so stu expensive here. Fermented cod liver oil for vitamin D. It's not. A, it's only give you about a thousand. So you know, some people need more. So a spear T S P R I T. Wait, spear S P E R T I. Vitamin D three lamp is really great, especially in the winter where in those places that aren't that are north like Sweden, but Italians get sun. Okay, guys, I literally, I cannot stand to be in this car anymore. I'm going to friggin' freak out. Can't. Can't do it. Yay, this is the first time I've got more likes than people watching. I'm still shadow banned. I'm still not, people, my almost 100K subscribers are still not getting my notifications. So don't forget to hit the notification bell and where it says all. What do you suggest for socializing on keto? getting really tough and bringing your own food. I went to a dinner the other day and it was a barbecue. So I knew that they were making chicken and hamburgers. So I said, don't put anything on my chicken or hamburger meat because they stuffed it with barbecue sauce and all this kind of stuff. And then I didn't know if they have avocado. I always bring an avocado with me wherever I go. So I brought avocado and I made a lettuce wrap out of it. And did they have vegetables? No, did they? I don't remember. I think it was just, oh, I just ate chicken. I ate lettuce wrap with uh, avocado on a hamburger and then chicken. Uh, romance check, stay away from the losers, gosh. Yeah, meat, sir, <laughs> I like that. Um, but I really suggest you can either bring food if you're going to an event like I did. And I don't even care. Like people are like, do you bring your own food? I'm like, yeah. So I don't care. But I really think you just have to toughen up. I've, I used to have all different kinds of suggestions. But now I really just think that, you, you know, you got to stand for something. You're going to fall for everything. You have to stand by what you think is best for your own body. The only thing I can suggest is to bring your own food if they, if they, because I will not eat junk. And I've been, you all know, I've been to Africa on keto, but Cambodia on keto, Bali on keto, uh, Ecuador on keto, and I didn't eat none of the, the carbs that people are putting in my face. I was like, nope. Yeah, but it's rude. It's in our culture. That's nice. I ain't eating it. So, and then they all respected me. Nobody, nobody tripped when I said no. I'm not eating it. Not. Okay, my seatbelt hit my bladder and it's going, you got to pee. Thank you guys for joining today's live stream. I hope me talking about me being, blah, me being on keto and how it has really helped my body improve exponentially. And this is the reason why I've never gone off. Why would I go off? Like I can, I can just ferment myself and pickle myself and stay energized and have great sex hormones and great skin and great muscles and you know guts and strong gut wall and mental cognition and you know kick some butt with front with the guys at the gym uh, why would I ever change that enjoy the rest of your birthday it was yesterday but thank you uh, Stephanie thanks for all your hard work thank you Nicola star thank you thank you everybody who joined the live stream and I'm gonna start I'm gonna after my trip because I'm gonna go I'm going to go to a couple of places. I need a break from this disgusting heat because I've been here. It's never been not hot since I've been, I was here. I've been here for five months. I like, can like one day of cold, just one, just like one can no, no, just hot the whole time. Like an oven. No. When I went to Bali, I'm like, are you guys in this heat 365 days out of the year? Well, now I'm in half of that. No, I can't. All right. Thank you, you guys. Uh, thank you. Super fine guy. And, and I'm a hobby stalker. Um, I'm going to start doing some lifestyle videos and I want to talk more just about life. I was watching Sean Baker's videos today and he's talking about what's going on. And I was like, he's actually, I can listen to Sean talk about the state of the world today, but the dietary stuff, I kind of get bored. And so I want to talk about keto, but I also want to talk about come to Seattle. It's raining. Seattle, the crazy city of left side of the street people. Are you out of your mind? Hey, I'd see them now. I'm out to keep my little black ass here in Texas. I won't. More subject. Yeah, I think so. 
I'm going to talk about a bunch of stuff. My experience getting older, uh, being single. People used to always be like, are you together? Are you single? Are you straight? Are you gay? And I'm like, no, I'm straight as an arrow and I'm single. And I'm hot in this car. It's gross. And why I'm single and why it's so hard to like find a good guy. It's, I can't. I got chill in the air. More. Ugh. I just feel grossed out. I'm so disgusted right now. Ugh. I'm so tired of this heat in Texas. But I'm still a happy person. And I still have energy. I don't want to leave it with me just complaining. Thank you everyone for uh, donating to this super chat. I just saw the number there. Thank you. Thank you everybody for joining the live stream. Yes, Nicole, I think I need to hit more. And I'm not going to just do them live. I'm going to do videos. I'm going to do editing and all that crap. You guys can see. I'm going to go skateboard. Mm -hmm, they have a skate park here. And I'm going to go show you guys me riding thunder and more workouts for sure. Because I work out all the time. And I never show it. Like straight up like beast mode. And how to do workouts. Are you ever finding a solution to your Wi-Fi? Yeah, my friend is coming with some antenna thing. He's going to, we're gonna use an antenna where you can put a cell phone and it'll tech, it'll, it'll, the cell phone will pick up the tower. The tower is here, down the road from here. And the cell phone, no, it's a router with a cell phone chip in it. Okay, it's a little hack and it picks up the tower. So then I can have a good upload speed for live streaming because I'd love to live stream at the ranch. I just can't at that property so far. So he's supposed to come when I come back from my trip and hopefully all of this will get fixed. I, j I got a, um, a booster, uh, a Wi-Fi booster, people. I'm not talking about the sword and arm. I got a Wi-Fi booster and um, he's going to hook everything up for me. So yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for this live. Uh, if you want, guys want to book a consultation, go to stephanieperson.com. Uh, my Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook, no, I'm not a runner. I bust my knee. I had 10 surgeries. Boop, 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 boop. On my left knee, can't run, can't jump, can't lunge, can't squat. But still, I built muscle. And I want to show you guys how I did it with an injured knee. And you can too. All right. I feel like I'm like, even though I have my air on, I'm still sweaty. Like my back of my legs are sticking to my car seat. Ugh, I'm disgusted. Okay, I'm out of here. Uh, my uh, Facebook is Stephanie the Business Person. And love you guys. Love all of the, the um, people who are very consistent in coming to my channel and supporting what I'm trying to do. And, uh, you know, I'm in t Texas temporarily living in an RV, waiting for the market to drop so I can buy a house and have some peace because I'm really tired of living on somebody else's property. I'm, I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of that too. Wow, I'm really saying what I'm sick of today. I'm sick of, ooh, sick of li living on other people's properties. I'm not going to lie. I am super tired of it. And I cannot wait to just walk into my own front door, fall on the ground, and be grateful for everything in life that I'm able to achieve. And on that note, guys, I'm out. Because once I drive off, I won't be connecting to the tower anymore. Bye, guys.